What is happening gamers, this is Bradley here, and in the fallout of Nintendo's revision to the financial forecast for the current fiscal year, there has been talk about what Nintendo should do to fix their problem. One of the ideas that have been raised is releasing games on smartphones. Now Nintendo has expressed a willingness to use smart devices to promote their own products and not actually release games for those platforms. But as of recently, word has popped up that the Japanese newspaper, the Nikkei, is reporting that Nintendo may start releasing so-called mini-games on these devices. And the Nikkei is also reporting that we're going to be hearing more about this whole ordeal this Thursday, which is when Nintendo is going to be having their investors Q&A meeting. So I actually thought it was plausible that Nintendo would start to release companion apps on smart devices that could be used in conjunction with the full games on the 3DS or Wii U, where you can play like these so-called mini-games on the apps and earn items and stuff like that and transfer that to the full games. Now Nintendo has actually responded to this allegation and given us a clear-cut answer that doesn't beat around the bush. They stated that they can confirm that there are no plans to release minigames on smart devices. Now it is interesting that they did give us a flat-out confirmation instead of giving us the usual we don't respond to rumors and speculation. But just because they say that doesn't actually mean that's what's going to happen because they have stated before that there weren't any plans to drop the price of the Wii U and Viola not too long after they dropped the price. But whatever the case may be, it will be interesting to see what Nintendo coughs up at the investors meeting this Thursday as a way to solve their current predicament. And there is a good chance that there will be some sort of talk about smart devices, maybe Nintendo will showcase how they plan to use these devices to promote their products. And with the release of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze coming to fruition, it is about time for Retro Studios to hop onto their next big project. And to signify that is some job listings for the studio have popped up for an AI engineer, a tools engineer, and a senior tools engineer. Now we don't really have any clue on what their next game could be, but the obvious answer would be a new Metroid game, and they have expressed an interest in returning to the series. There is always the possibility that Nintendo will allow them to use another one of their IPs, maybe a new Star Fox game, or maybe they'll want to be a little bit more ambitious and create one of their own franchises. But whatever it does turn out to be, Retro Studios is a highly esteemed developer for Nintendo, so it should turn out pretty good. And finally, so it looks like there might be another localization in the cards, as Square Enix has registered a trademark for Curtain Call over in Europe, which if you don't know, is the subtitle to the sequel to Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy. The original Theater Rhythm game did see localization, so it isn't a huge leap to think that the sequel would too, and this trademark could be hinting at something. So what does that the way and see what Square Enix announces down the road. But that will bring us the end of the news grind up. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff. You can stay tuned for more news videos, video reviews, and that's on Everse episodes. You can also check out the GamingPixelShow.com to follow along for some more 3DS and Wii U news, but I will talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!